Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 3rd to the 9th of June 2019. I hope you well Scorpio. So we have five cards at the top all clarified with bottom cards and this is the past, the present, challenges if you have any advice from tarot and outcome. I've also turned over the bottom of the deck. I've got a spirit message card for this week for advice and also an angel oracle card too. So let's start with the King of Cups. Now the first thing that the King of Cups, this is your past position. The first thing that he represents is love, is doing things from the heart. What I'm seeing as well is that you see all these choppy waters and he actually sits in the middle of the ocean. So this is somebody who's risen above emotions. He won't be pulled down. He won't be brought down to um, allow his emotions to dominate him. And that's where his success lies. He is emotionally stable within and he projects that stability to incredible lengths with great achievement and great success. He is a card of success. He's a king. So whatever he's doing from the heart, he's doing successfully as well. And it might well be a message to you for this week. I mean, this is the past position, but there is a lot of cups energy here, a lot of earth energy here. And there is something about being grounded, being practical, not expecting too much of yourself, Scorpio, this week, doing things pragmatically, step by step um, in order to get progression, in order to find real satisfaction, emotional stability and happiness, really, um, and even love. This can also be an offer of love. He's a slightly mature gentleman, but you may well have had offers of love in the past. Now, if it's not that, it's somebody who could be giving you advice, loving advice. He is very intuitive, um, so probably can get to the heart of the situation very easily because he has that intuitive nature. He can read between the lines, and it might well be in the past that you've needed to re read between the lines in order to conquer something that may have thrown you in terms of an emotional setback in some way, shape or form. So really powerful energy, the King of Cups. Um, so yeah, you could be getting some good advice. Now, I think for some of you, you might well be getting some offers. Now, this could be loving offers. Um, the ones can talk about passions, desires coming into you. So it might well be that you are getting those passions, desires. It might well be that you've spoken to people in the past and it might well be that this is materializing to something bigger, something more solid and um, solid offers from that communication. Um, this is Mercury and Sagittarius. So ideas, hopes, dreams, visions, all of that kind of thing and communication, maybe with people. It, it, it talks about things solidifying a little bit, solid offers coming into you, solid opportunities, maybe. But I think some of you in the past have been reluctant to commit. This is the card of being independent. This is the card of standing on your own two feet, standing in your own light. So if you are in a relationship, you're, you're wanting to find progress. This can be progress um, on your own two feet rather than relying on somebody else. That could mean that situation. But it can also be that you don't want to engage in love, really, or you didn't want to in the past because you've been through maybe an emotional situation of the past and you've conquered it. You've come through the other side. But now you want to stand on your own two feet and just be solid, stable, grounded for a while. Now, the other thing that this can mean in a, in a business front, obviously, it's a general reading, so I do try and give a number of options, is that doing things from the heart or, or getting good advice and listening to good advice, it could have been, again, this is the past position, um, there could have been opportunities which allow you to be more abundant. So you could have been grabbing hold of opportunities that firmed up in terms of real offers, real opportunities coming in at you on the business front in order to be more financially abundant, financially successful, um, or that was your aspiration to be, yeah, so oh, that was what you wanted to happen, now this can be also an entrepreneurial energy, some of you would have wanted your business, you could have been doing business startups, 
uh, grabbing hold of opportunities to increase your success. This can also be about um, business progression. So if you have started up a business, this is where in the past you're just being in a more abundant phase of your life. Again, making choices that you enjoy, doing something that you enjoy. Also listening to good pearls of wisdom from people. So yeah, interesting, interesting past, Scorpio. So I'll try and give a couple of examples. Sometimes the cards don't let me. And to be fair, the cards are slanting towards the love perspective. And I'll tell you why, because you've got two offers of love here. Um, so the cards are pretty much, um, you know, when they want to make a point, they do make a point. Um, but I will obviously go through this and just see if there's any other translations accordingly. So we have... Okay, so I kind of think that there could be, now let's, let's go on the love front to begin with. It's saying that if you have had an offer of love in the past, it had the potential or it could grow to something really solid. This is family, generations of family, so it could go the distance. This is long-term love, long-term stability, long-term success in a relationship something that's very grounded solid that you can rely on is honest it's true so for those of you who are questioning whether you could trust it who maybe you've been hurt before in the past it's saying that this is really this offer you know is is really stable it's really solid um now the queen of pentacles is there to kind of like say certainly on the love front there could well be an earth sign that you're involved in so capricorn taurus virgo yeah, because you've got two pentacles energy here. So solid relationships with an earth sign, potentially. This is a card of Capricorn, the queen of pentacles specifically. And it's very much talking about if you've, if you've started a relationship again, if you've grabbed hold of loving opportunities, done things from the heart, allowed yourself to follow your heart, so to speak, this is where it can really grow and flourish and just be beautiful. Now on the business front, um, the Ten of Pentacles is a really good sign of business. This is about real achievement. It's a ten, it's an ending, it's a completion, but it's ending on a high. Um, this is financial abundance. So again, you're going from the Nine to the Ten of Pentacles in the present. So you're beginning to see some kind of return on your investment, on your hard work. This would have been hard work to achieve, most definitely. And it talks just about finding value in yourself as well. Certainly with that Queen of Pentacles, finding value. Also being able to nurture something, nurture a business. You have the ability to really make it grow, be abundant, flourish. You have all the resources that you need. Earthly resources, this is. The earthly resources. Capricorn very much linked to a savvy business acumen. So you have all those resources that you need to really make decisions um, to bring about real financial security, financial abundance, success in your life. So if you've started something, this is a really good sign, Scorpio. Beautiful energy, beautiful energies. Now we have the challenges. So the challenges... We have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is an offer of love or somebody in search of love. And I think deep down you're in search of... It could well be that this is you, Scorpio. This could also be a fellow water sign as well, offering you love. So, uh, yeah, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, this is somebody who is allowing their heart to rule them now the the star energy is is that kind of card of direction finding your direction maybe healing from a situation of the past so maybe again like i said before certainly with that king of cups energy because you have to look beyond that card as well those choppy waters suggest that you may well have been pulled down in your emotions at some point in the past so some of you may well be fearful about committing to love again, but there is enough. There, there is absolutely an offer of love for some of you coming. Um, obviously, it doesn't re resonate with everybody, but some of you are either in search of new love or you will be offered new love. 
Now, the star energy card of Aquarius could be an Aquarius as well. This is way, again, this could be healing from the past, healing and releasing, and that's part of your challenge, is to allow new love to come into your life after a period of, of maybe gone through a, a difficult time, Scorpio. So that is your time, but um, this is a real card of expansion and growth as well. It's beautiful energy. It says now's the time to move forward in your life. Again, follow the star. It's a directional energy and it's saying follow, follow love. Do things from the heart, most definitely. This is also the star energy gives you that sense of self back, self-worth, self-identity. It also reminds you that this this kind of like this is this is divine blessings. So divine wish fulfillment, and you've also got wish fulfillment here. So really powerful energy, Scorpio, this week. Could be all your wishes and dreams coming true with this offer of new love. Not everybody's the same, and it sometimes says don't judge, don't judge your past by, don't just judge your present by the past experiences. You know, which is difficult. It is difficult. Um. So yeah, really fabulous card the star energy it's just that wonderful healing energy washing over you and filling you with calm hope hope on new love real hope yeah beautiful energy the star card comes after the tower energy in the um in the tarot deck and it just brings calm after the storm it just brings uh re-energizing restoration all of those beautiful things and it allows you to shine in your own true light again. I kind of think that for some of you, this is this is the time for you to start moving on. I mean, that's certainly what it's saying. There's direction in this. It tells you to, to move forward now with new hope. Um, now, in terms of the business front, again, the star is. I mean, the star is a beautiful energy. For those of you who who are looking for direction this is a this is a journey where you're going to shine in your own individual light and it might well be doing something that you enjoy there might be a loving offer could be loving um advice as well given to you or you know opportunity um to to allow yourself to to move on in the business front i can't see really any challenges on the business front here because this is doing something that you would enjoy um, or a loving offer that would come into you that just makes you a lot happier. It might well be that, you know, some of you are being helped out or given sound advice as well. Um, but I just, I just feel certainly with these energies, this is a beautiful direction of moving forward, doing things from the heart. There's a real kind of like instinctive flavour to the cups energy as well, Scorpio. There's a real perception. Again, reading between the lines. So you will be able to kind of like take advantage of opportunities by just being instinctive as well. There's instinct in then doing things from the heart. And I think you'll be incredibly perceptive this week, certainly on the business front too, as well as the love front. The advice from Tarot, I mean, this did make me laugh when it came out because, um, you know, when the cards want to make a point, they really are making a point. <laughs> I also have the Ace of Pentacles here, two cards popped out in this. Um, so we have two Aces of Cups, brand new beginnings and offer of love, brand new beginnings on love. Again, now this could be self-love, this could be just finding your happy place, finding your mojo again after a period of difficulty. Um, wonderful new beginnings, just filling you with joy, happiness, satisfaction. Um, releasing from the past again. I mean, all of these, this is the new beginning. New beginnings happen when you can release from a difficult situation. Yeah. And this is where, you know, you're, you're going through that door to new horizons. Could have been, a, you know, that hidden door to new horizons. But this is divine guidance. And this is to, to kind of like tell you that one, you are being very divinely guided. And two, that you have the power if you grab hold of opportunities now to bring about new beginnings, fresh starts, allow your, your happiness to go to that next level. Again, in terms of money, some of you beginning new business ventures, some of you beginning new jobs, new promotions, new bonuses, that type of thing. This is just being in that happy place at work as well. 
But yeah, it is very much leaning towards something that you love or are absolutely a loving offer coming in for you in terms of love. So beautiful, powerful energies here. Yeah. And we have, so two pages and the Nine of Cups. So we saw the Divine Wish Fulfillment with the Star card. This is you. You can make your wishes and dreams happen if you allow yourself to look forward. Now, this could be, you see, this, these two pages here can be about communication. Even psychic messages or communication, some psychic instinct, that type of thing, or instinct in a voice, um, in a voice is speaking to you, instinctive speaking to you. Uh, about offers, now there could well be, these two could be either communication messages, page of pentacles. I mean, this can be about news, good news, messages of love, maybe. Um, certainly messages to do with business as well for some of you, too changing direction for some of you or fresh starts in the business front fresh starts in love now it is saying that the outcome is that this love is unexpected and it's taken you by surprise and i think that's why some of you are reluctant to invest your time and effort into it because you might have been hurt in the past and you've conquered that you've come through the other side and some of you kind of like feel in the past that you've wanted to stand on your own two feet because you feel more solid, more stable, rather than commit to new love now. But there's a real chance to make all your wishes and dreams come true on the love front. Now, also, similarly, the Page of Pentacles can also mean not just that love can, has the real potential to grow, um, to grow and flourish, um, but this, is, this can also be on the business front, bringing about your wishes and dreams coming true and, true and doing something that you enjoy, um, something that you love. Could be a change of heart on something as well, or a situation. So yeah, I just think this is a beautiful, there's beautiful advice here. Um, and it says, be open-minded about it. Be open to the possibility. You see how these pages study the, the pentacles and the cups energy. It's being open to that possibility. Consider it carefully. Because the Ace of Pentacles, again, we finish on the um, the second Ace of Pentacles here. Um, we finish on something solid, something stable, something grounded. Again, the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you're starting here, this could be a really solid relationship that goes the distance. You know, this is generations of family here in the picture. So this is something for the long term, something that gives you solidity, stability, real security, um, a feeling of success, all of those kind of beautiful things. Um, this on the business front as well, there could be an offer. I mean, I've said before, you know, with that Ace of Cups and also, um, we saw it before, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of, of Pentacles here. Um, this could be open door to new horizons on the job front. So some of you will be getting offers. Again, I mentioned loving offers or something, doing something that you would enjoy as well as something that gives you the next level up in terms of money and security, that type of thing. So fabulous energy, Scorpio. Beautiful energy. So the spirit message card is receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. Yeah, be open-minded. Receive, listen to sound advice. I will say that. There is some sound advice given to you here, so listen to it. Again, the Queen of Pentacles, sound advice, King of Cups, really, really perceptive, intuitive, from the heart advice. So beautiful perspectives there. Um... Yeah, let's see what the Angel Oracle card is. So the first thing is listening. And I do think, now this is also listening to that divine. You see the angel in this picture? This is about your intuition, your gut instinct. You know what the right thing to do is. So be open to really listening about this situation. Yeah. This is divine guidance at its best. So you might have some earthly advice given to you. But this is divine guidance as well. And read the signs. Read the signs. 
because there are signs here that will help you make a decision this week. Um, but it's a beautiful, I mean, you've got the chance of a major new beginnings here, Scorpio, major new beginnings, um, powerful new beginnings. I mean, loving new beginnings as well. It's a new beginning that you're just going to love. Um, beautiful energies. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.